Oh, like a, welcome to another boxing uh, fight review. This is George Grove versus Jamie Cox. So, sorry I haven't been able to do a lot of reviews lately, I've just been busy with other things. And now I'm going to try and get back onto it. Um, I know I missed a lot of big fights, which obviously was the Golovkin <coughs> Cadaveris fight, which obviously is not good. Me missing it. I didn't, I didn't watch that um, that fight, but I might do a review of it. I might not because uh, it's quite a while ago that happened. So, I'm not sure if anyone's going to be going to uh, watch it, but I might do it. So anyway, um, the review today, of course, is Jamie uh, Cox versus George Groves, which happened last weekend, which was for the WBA Super Middleweight World Title. Um, as many people do know now, if you follow uh, boxing enough, there's currently a um, boxing tournament for the Super Middleweight and Cruiserweight um, divisions. It's like a Super Six tournament, if you want to call it that. And um, the Cruiserweight one is probably more interesting in terms of uh, quality fighters, but for the, just, for, just for the purpose of this video, Super Middleweight um, Division has RBO champion Chris Eubank Jr. and WBA champion uh, George Groves. Um, like I said, George Groves um, in the quarter final match uh, last Saturday faced off against Jamie Cox. Uh, <clears throat> both are British fighters. I, I didn't know much about Jamie Cox, to be honest. I know he was undefeated, but as I said, I didn't know much else about him, to be honest. Um, also, that Callum Smith is in the uh, ladder as well, or fights. Um, but I know a little bit about him, but I do know he could have faced, I think he could have fought for the WBC belt, but decided to go into this tournament. Um, it might uh, be a good idea, it might not, but time will tell. But back to the review of George Groves, uh, Jamie Cox. Um, I was looking into the reviews and people's um, like opinions on the fight, and it seemed like George Groves um, had a stern test, or a tough test, uh, to face Jamie Cox. But because I didn't know much about him, I couldn't really say too much, that's why I didn't do a review on it or anything like that because, like I said, I didn't know much about Jamie Cox so there's no point in me doing a fight prediction if I didn't know much about it. But, George Groves knocked him out quite comfortably, it seemed like, with a body shot and now we move on to this semi-final um, match which if, which is against Chris Eubank Jr. which, which is scheduled currently scheduled for January next year. Um, that's not too far away but because there's a lot of fights currently going on in this uh, tournament Civil War and Cruiserweight divisions, I think that the quick turnaround is um, is needed because if you remember back in twenty sort of 2000, uh, 2008 to two thousand and no two thousand nine to two thousand eleven, um, there was a um, Super Middleweight tournament back then for Showtime and it had um, that lasted far too long because there was the likes of Carl Froch, um, Andre Ward who went on to win it. Um, Mikael Kessler fight like that, but it took so long to quite a couple, last like it took three years to get, not three years, two years to um, get over and done with, and it's that's far too long. Whereas this one, they've gone about it right away, and um, they're having a quick time, quick turnover of fights, which is good, and um, they they're giving the fighters enough chance to rest and re recuperate before they go on to um, fight their next opponent. Um, so like I said, with this win, Jules Groves now moves over to some semi-final. Um, match against Chris Eubank, which is for two world titles. Of course, the IBO belt isn't seen as the, a major world title, it's more of a sort of modern world title. People do dismiss it as a uh, legitimate world title, even though technically it is. And many people will see Chris Eubank Jr. as a world champion, some people don't. Personally, if it says he's an IBO world champion, I know it doesn't hold as much weight as the others, but if this is a world champion and he's defending it against fires and the they're recognising it as a world title because he's fighting um, other fighters and he's defending it. He's made two defences now against Arthur Abraham and um, he fought two weeks ago, but I can't remember, can't pronounce the guy's name unfortunately, but that was his quarter final win. So he's made two defences now, so if, it wasn't, if they didn't want to recognise it, I don't think um, the uh, companies or organisation would recognise it as a world title. But anyway, so now. As I said, them two are going to be fighting. I think George Groves probably win that fight, only because um, he's just the more experienced, the more tougher. Or well, I think he's fought for tougher people, but he's more experienced, and I think that'll be a big factor in the fight. But where does Jamie Cox go from now? Of course, he's been eliminated from it, but because he's still quite relatively um, young and he, he's English as well, so it's it's not like he hasn't got any um, uh, chances out there to come again. He can he can go back and do like domestic or European level fights, we never know, he might get a world title fight in the future, only time will tell. It's a good body shot um, for George Groves because 
um, people had to have a lot of doubts in the, in the George Groves entering the tournament because they, they, they thought, did he really have enough left? Can he fight the quick turnovers? Um, he's not getting any younger because obviously George Groves lost to back to back fights to Carl Froch back in 2013 and 2014 for the IBF and WBA super middleweight titles, and he also lost to Badu Jack for the WBC super middleweight belt back in 2015. And people back then were writing George Groves off saying, that's it, he's had enough for title fights, um, can he come again? And to be fair, credit to where it's due, he's come back and he's got a world title. A bit not as high level of opponents as Badu Jack and Carl Froch, as I said, but beating the likes of Chris Eubank Jr. will be a good statement because he's one of the up and coming fighters. I know he's lost to Billy Joe Saunders, the current WO middleweight champion, but um, it's still credit because if you can beat Chris uh, Eubank Jr., it's a credit to where because um, Sometimes when people get, as people do know, like fellow uh, boxing uh, fans, sometimes um, when fans and critics write you off, some of the fighter can never be the same. And I, d I didn't actually think George Groves would would win a world title after he lost to Carl for a second time because it's very rare to come back from two um, big, two high profile losses like those and get another world title shot quite quickly after that and then lose again. But quickly, like I said, Bert's Jr. He's come back and he's a better fighter and this time round. Got a world title, could win a second one. Um, say if George Groves does win, um, say if he beats Callum Smith because Callum Smith hasn't, hasn't got an opponent yet for his semi-final match. Say if he beats Chris Eubank Jr., WBA and RBO middleweight champion, super middleweight champion, beats Callum Smith, where could he go next? Only time will tell because um, obviously the other um, champions the IBF, WC and WBO belts are still um, up for grabs in future fights with George Groves. Could he, he unify them all and become an spirit to win a champion? Probably not, but who knows, this could be the high point of his career. I mean, would he be satisfied if he won the middleweight, uh, sorry, super middleweight tournament and of course as well the money and uh, Muhammad Ali trophy that comes with this um, uh, tournament winnings? I mean, that'd be a pretty... Um, Good way to go. I'm not saying he's gonna retire after, of course, but like I said, he's not like 25 years old. I think he's like uh, early 30s. So like, is he gonna keep carrying on fighting and get the big names? If he has two world titles to his name and is the winner of a tournament, which is a high-profile tournament, you never know. The big names could be could um could obviously uh, come calling. IBF champion James Tegel. Of course, pe people do know that they've got um, a previous rivalry and. Um, George Groves has obviously beaten James Tegel amateur and professional ranks back in 2011 when they fought for the British and Commonwealth some middleweight titles. So it's not like there's, there's not fights out there for George Groves. I mean, that'd be a, me a mega fight. I personally think if George Groves can beat uh, Chris Eubank Jr. and whoever he faces in the final, if he can go up against um, James Tegel for the IBF, WBA and IBO middleweight titles, some middleweight titles, so like when Wembley Stadium or something or maybe another high pro profile uh, stadium um, in England, that'd be a, a big fight for British boxing and for the Super Mario division as well because two high profile names. I'm not sure how much how much um uh, like sort of buzz and like uh, exposure you'll get in America. Um James Tegal's fought quite a lot over there recently. George Groves only fought there a few times from my recent memory. But that'd be a big fight if you can get hold of it. It's only time will tell. I mean, if you keep on following boxing, you'll see how George Groves is going to progress in the middleweight tournament. Um, but only time will tell, like I said. But it's good progress so far from George Groves. Jamie Clark, like I said, he can come back, but I think at the minute it's back to the drawing board. And he's got other fights out there, but I think he's got back to sort of square one and sort of see what's going around in the domestic and European scenes before thinking about having a world title shot again. But anyway, this has been my George Groves versus Jamie Clark's fight round review. And that's been a bit of a mixture of a of that George Grove sort of future fights and Jamie Cox. I didn't really give much to but like I said, I don't know much about Jamie Cox to be honest, so I can't really say too much on him. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and comment and I'll see you in the next um video.